I want to call your attention to two routine but very important words. At a quick glance, they seem quite similar. But I'll warn you, these simple, everyday words are way more significant than they appear on the surface. Once you hear these words, you'll probably schedule a heart-to-heart -heart talk with yourself about what you are really trying to create and accomplish in your life. You see, each of us is free to achieve better results, but there's a catch. We have to first do different and better things. We will not get better results if we keep doing the same things. Nonetheless, plenty of nice people keep doing what they've always done, still hoping it all works out eventually. So the first word is won't, as in, I won't go skydiving, or I won't get up before 6 a.m. And the other word is can't, as in, I can't stick to my diet, or I can't exercise in the morning. In my coaching experience, I have found that too many people confuse or commingle their won'ts and can'ts. We tell ourselves and others that we can't do this or we can't do that. As it turns out, we're not telling the truth. In most cases, when we say we can't clean up our diet, change our spending, or better meet the needs of our spouse, we are really saying that we won't make that effort. Of course, that's just a choice, but it sounds a little nicer too if you say can't instead of won't. If you truly can't do something, that's a legitimate capability problem. On the other hand, if you won't do something helpful or constructive, that's an attitude problem, a willingness problem. Sometimes we won't do certain things in certain situations only because our attitudes have calcified, or maybe we've gotten a little lazy. So how about that? Your success and happiness in the months and years ahead will be unduly influenced by a couple of four-letter words. Who would have thought? This is Tommy Newberry because mindset makes all the difference.